Hey, welcome back to Rupert Lake. My name is David. I'm the Ranger Naturalist here at the lake. And this morning I wanted to take a minute and visit with you about our bald eagle nest here at Real Foot and the history of the bald eagle nesting here at Real Foot. I've uh, been here for 35 years now. So when I started at Real Foot Lake in 1986, there were no bald eagle nests at Real Foot Lake. If you go back to before that, in 1954, there were 15 active eagle nests in the Real Foot Lake area. By 1961, they were gone. There were no successful nests left, not only at Real Foot, but in the state of Tennessee. In 1980, we started an eagle hacking program where we brought in baby eagles from Alaska, Wisconsin, Minnesota, captive breeding programs at some zoos, and started releasing baby eagles in Tennessee. Uh, one of the release spots was here at Real Foot, another one at Kentucky Lake, at Land Between the Lakes, at Del Hollow Lake, and at Chattanooga, out of Chattanooga at Raccoon Mountain. So the first three nest in Tennessee was in 1983 at Cross Creek National Wildlife Refuge up near Kentucky Lake. We did not get a re-nest here at Real Foot until 1987 with one nest. Uh, it's been amazing through my career, my degrees in wildlife biology, I went to Tennessee Tech at Cookville, to watch the return of the bald eagles, not only in Tennessee, but across our great nation. Um, so. Zero nest in Tennessee from 1961 until 1983. One nest in 83. When we got the nest here at Real Foot in 87, we were up to about, let, still less than 10 nests in the state. And we've watched that population explode. Uh, we released almost 300 eagles from the, all the different sources through that hacking program to jumpstart the return of the eagles. Uh, at Real Foot today, we have over 30 eagle nests both on the lake itself and in the farmland around the lake. And the nest that we're looking at is the most photogenic of all the nests here at Real Foot. And we have lots of people that come to Real Foot to photograph the eagles because it is in a dead tree out in the middle of a field. Uh, and a nest like this over my career is a nest that's not gonna last very long. If this nest stays in the tree or the tree stays up for three, four or five years, that's gonna be exceptional. Now, when they build in a live tree then sometimes that nest may last for 15 20 30 years but when they're in a dead tree typically they do not so it's a little bit more about bald eagle nests they are a very very large nest as you can see and if you look real close you can see that mom eagle is setting in this nest she's watching us but uh and she's uh incubating the eggs should hatch any time but uh, eagles typically lay two eggs. Occasionally they'll lay three, occasionally one. Incubation is about 35 days, roughly. Uh, so, uh, and typically the eggs hatch in either April or uh, sometimes March, sometimes April, sometimes even into May. Okay, she's standing up. She's gonna fly, she's gonna make a circle and she's gonna come right back, typically. So she's watching us. We didn't get too close, but uh, she just went and landed in a close by tree. And it is a beautiful morning. It's very warm. So she is uh, perfectly capable of going out and looking for food, making a big circle, coming back. Uh, once again, the babies haven't hatched. But eagles build extremely large nests. That nest is probably about six or eight feet tall, uh, maybe four to five feet wide. Of course, remember that a typical bald eagle has a six to eight foot wingspan with eight foot being very unusual, but upper end on the size range. So, uh, and to, real foot is one of the places that we can see a lot of bald eagle nests just by driving around, mainly before the leaves get out on the trees. Once the leaves come on most of the trees, then the nests are not nearly as visible unless you know exactly where they are where nests like this out in the dead tree is, is visible um, all the time. Uh, of course, bald eagles are mainly fishermen. That's why Real Foot Lake has such a big population of them. <coughs> and here at Real Foot, here she comes back. So she made a little circle and she's coming right back to the nest. So there she comes back into the tree and she'll sit there on the limb for a second. She's actually talking to us a little bit. 
hard to hear on the cell phone. But she's uh, she's saying hello. And what are these silly rangers doing videoing my nest this morning? But uh, the bald eagles here at Real Foot get very used to people. And, you know, once, once again, talking about my career, those first couple of eagle nests that we had in Tennessee, literally we closed the area totally around the nest, up to a half mile, sometimes even a mile away. Made a complete closure. And that was probably necessary at the time. As the numbers of eagle nests increased and they made such a comeback, one of the things that we begin to observe is some of the eagles didn't care about people. They literally built nests in people's backyards. We had one in the yard of a daycare a few years ago. Literally, the little kids were running around yelling and screaming. You know how kids are, do they care? Right under the nest with the babies. Mom Eagle didn't care. So they have got very, very used to people. Uh, we still try to give them their space and we don't want to unduly disturb the nest. Uh, but uh, once again, working with these birds, my career has been spent working with bald eagles here at Realfoot and learning a lot about them. So, uh, and I definitely really care about them and I'm very, always very conscious of giving their space. And when I take people out to, say, to see eagles, one of my goals is I always say that we wanna find the eagles, we wanna look at the eagles, we wanna photograph the eagles. We don't wanna disturb the eagles. We want the eagles as much as possible to do what the eagles are supposed to be doing. And, and basically that's uh, kind of what we've done here. She's uh, got off the nest and went out and uh, looked for something to eat or and didn't find anything and then made a circle and come right back. So, of course, this is our adult bald eagle, white head and white tail, the national symbol, what everyone expects to see. There she's going right back, just slowly working her way back down the nest. When you come to Real Foot or other places to see bald eagles, we see a lot of solid brown eagles. And people that aren't familiar with eagles sometimes think that's the female eagle because in a lot of birds the male is brightly colored and the female has or the and the female is kind of a dull brown. But in eagles, the brown ones are the young ones, in bald eagles. The brown ones are the juveniles or young ones. And it takes about five years for that head really to start turning to get the classic adult plumage. So this is, uh, this pair is full adults. This is the third year they have been in this tree. Uh, and it's, it is near one of the roads. I mean, we're, we're literally standing right off the side of the road uh, filming this nest, but it's not on a main road, it's on a back road. So it's not one of the better known nests of the lake. Where we actually here at Real Foot have, there she's back in the nest. We actually have several eagle nests that are, that are built on the park. We have one, uh, literally right behind my house. I live on the park, on the bank of the lake. We have one almost in my backyard that's been there about 15 years now, has babies pretty much every year. We have uh, several others that are right near boat ramps that they see people in boats and cars and everything every day. Photographers every day, definitely. Uh, a lot of photographers. And, and once again, we're shooting this with a cell phone. And this is a great nest to photograph. If you have a decent camera lens, and by decent, I'm saying a 400 to 600 millimeter lens. You can set up here where we are, and, and once again, the mom and dad ignore you, and you're sitting up in the road, right on the edge of the, not in the road, but on the edge of the road, and we get to document and observe and, uh, and learn about the eagles. So it's been a fascinating part of my career here at Real Foot to watch the eagles go from a bird that we only saw in the wintertime with the migratory birds to a bird that has returned as a nesting bird, to a bird that has become very common, to, that we see literally every day here at Real Foot now. And not only that, but across the state of Tennessee. We now have over 400 bald eagle nests statewide. Every large lake, every large river, and a lot of other places in Tennessee now have bald eagle nests. Where when I was growing up, they, once again, they were zero. There were none nesting in this state. So the return of the eagle is definitely one of our wildlife success stories in Tennessee. So I hope you enjoyed learning just a little bit about the history of the bald eagles nesting at Real Foot Lake and in Tennessee. Uh, when you get a chance, come out and visit us at Real Foot Lake State Park at our other 56 state parks across Tennessee. We have a fantastic park system in Tennessee. Uh, 
set up to preserve and protect our natural areas, things like the bald eagles, the bald eagle nests, the habitat. You know, don't forget we have to protect the habitat, the places they live and where they find food. But that's what our park system is for. And our farmland, right now we're not on the park. This is probably on farmland. We're just out in, a, in the edge of a farmer's field, once again, right off the edge of the road, because this nest is so photogenic especially once the leaves come out. The other nest we could have gone to, and I could have gone to a lot of them, you would have been looking, trying to find them, picking them out of the leaves in the trees where the vegetation is so thick. So anyone, hope everyone has a great day. Hope you enjoyed learning about uh, a little about eagles and come out and visit us at our great state park system.